Hey guys, welcome welcome back. Um so before we get before we continue with the rest of the API tutorial series, I want to actually load in some data. And I found this website, appideagenerator.com. That just generates random applications that is basically what I want inside of my uh app. So inside my database. And if you do an inspect and look at the network tab. Every time you hit the new idea um, button, you'll see that it's making a AJAX request. So we can use this and go to uh, this, make a request to this URL, and we'll get the the response that looks like this, which is just a string uh, that's being populated right here. So that's what we're going to do in our application. And also, um, in your ORM config, you could add drop schema to equal to true, and that will uh, get rid of all your data in your database. So if you go into API slash users, it'll return an empty array because you no longer have any data in your database. And just to show you uh, the actual database. Let's go in there. Um, Postgres is the username. Connect to ideas. Let's select star from idea. So there's no data at all. But the tables are still there. So let's get rid of that. And clear. So let's see, I'm going to leave our API running and we're just gonna make a a new project so we're just gonna make directory uh, it doesn't matter what you call it but I'm just gonna call it data loader code data loader I'm gonna open this up for real estate put this over here okay so first we're gonna do a yarn in it dash y and I'm a little lazy right now, so we're just gonna code in normal JavaScript. So just touch index.js. Now we only need two uh, dependencies to just load in fake data. Uh, one of which is faker.js, which gives a lot of options to just make some make a lot of fake data. So you can do address zip code, street name, commerce. Um, I'm mainly going to use internet username because we're going to make a, a bunch of users. And then also lorem to add some random uh, Latin text. All right, so let's let's add those dependencies. So clear this. All right, add. We want Axios as our HTTP client, as well as Faker. Is it Faker or Faker JS? Let's see this. It's just Faker. Okay, cool. All right. So let's see. We need the idea generator generator, and that was HTTPS slash slash app idea generator gen narrator dot com slash call dot php cons and then we also need our own API which is uh, API localhost uh, four thousand I'm pretty sure pretty sure it's four thousand right yeah okay cool all right so the first function that we're going to want to create is generate idea generate idea which is an async function and we're just gonna do an await to axios dot gets um, idea generator generator 
And we're just gonna return return data. Um, but if you notice in Postman, every time we make a request, uh, there's a new line in front of it. So we're just gonna do a replace here with <coughs> the regular expression. That'll just get rid of all new lines. Um, and replace it with an empty string. Okay. And then next, we're gonna make generate user. And this is gonna make a call to our own database to register user. So data awaits axios.post. And I'm gonna use a template string here. Uh, idea API slash register sending in the uh, the data of username equals to faker oh wait right we have to include our independencies so cons faker equals require faker const axios equals require axios all right cool so faker dot internet dot username and username is a function and for the sake of sanity every user I'm gonna make is gonna have the password of password so we go in later to just uh, yeah, so we can use the, the users that we create later on. And we're going to return data.token because we actually need the token to to create the idea. So onto the next function, it would be post new idea async token. Actually, it's, we have one argument, so we don't need the parentheses here. And see uh, idea is gonna be a late generate idea because we're returning it here and then we're gonna just use axios once again wait axios dot post um, dollar sign idea API slash API slash is it idea or ideas? Let me check really quick. Uh, idea controller is ideas with an S. Okay. Ideas. And we need the data. So the data is the idea and description. And description, I'm just going to use some lorem ipsum from the faker library. Lorem, and I just want a paragraph. Just one paragraph. Um, so there's some shorthand here, so idea is equal to idea here. Uh, you can also do this, but uh, I don't know. I prefer this. And then finally, we need the pass in the headers, which is going to be uh no it's headers first which is authorization and of course our token looks like this so bear first then the token and then finally uh we want to return the idea in case we're gonna use it but i'm just gonna console log um data that should do it. All right, cool. So generate idea, generate user, post new idea. All right, now we just need to call these functions um, over and over again. So async. So this is a immediately invoked function. Um, it's just uh, it's an anonymous function that's going to be called immediately. So we don't have to 
call it again. Um, okay, so what do we need? We need to get the token from creating a user. Await uh, generate user. And we need to feed that token in to create the idea. Await post new idea. And see, we console logging here. So, all right, let's try out the script and see what happens. So, just a node index.js. And hopefully, it doesn't blow up. Okay, cool. So, if we look in our database, or no, our, our API, just make a request to ideas. And you'll see that we have that new idea that we just made, a Pinterest for watching cat videos with some lorem ipsum. And we have a new user named Rosamon45. Now all we need to do is stick this in a for loop and make, um, I don't know, let's make like a good amount. So I'm just gonna make a simple uh, random number function, so random int equals to function math floor floor math random times 10, which will give us a random number between 0 and 10. And in here, we're going to do this. So const, um, let's see, ran users, uh, num, equals to random int, const ran idea num, equals to random int. Alright, so, let's, uh, make a giant for loop. So it's going to be a little nest. Uh, for let i equals 0, i is less than random user number, i plus plus. Um, put this in here. And then for let i equals 0, no, not i. Well, I'll just use j to reduce confusion, random idea number, j++, put this in here, and I'm going to put this to the side because I'm sure we're going to see a lot of data happening. So just node, and then we just wait, and hopefully it doesn't crash. So let's see. Um, the maximum number of users that we're creating is 10. The maximum number of ideas that we're creating for each user is 10. So uh, we have possibly 100 new ideas and 10 new users. So let's test our database. Actually, it's probably going to be very cool to see how much data our logs are doing so let's that's quite a bit okay so let's put this back down oops that's the wrong button okay so let's see our users we have Paul Mahan bunch of ideas Braxton Jerd well you get the picture we, we have data in our database now and in ideas, we have this many. Actually, I want a better count, so let's go into our database. Grass dash idea. Yeah, there we go. Nope. Ideas with us. Yep, okay. DT. 
select um, count of star from idea. 46 ideas. That's not too bad. Let's try. Uh, we have to do user in quotes. Six. That's not too bad. All right, cool. I'm satisfied with the data that we loaded. All right. Um, do do do. Put this back on. All right. I'll see you guys next time.